you can talk about it, Dan. <coughs> Thanks for that, Dave. That was awesome. Uh, I didn't know a whole lot about Drupal until right now. It was embarrassingly one of those kind of terms that uh, I knew had been thrown around for uh, quite a while, but it was awesome to get that introduction. So next up we have uh, Chad, who's going to share a little bit about how the mean stack is used here uh, at Goodyear. Cool. some questions and answers. So now to what is the mean stack? That, that basically consists of straight at its straight at its highest level four components. MongoDB, ExpressJS, AngularJS, and now for Node.js. And now for MongoDB, that would be basically a NoSQL database. So, uh, or, or, or now, but I will say that up to this point, even now for we're not really using a MongoDB yet at Gridier, it would be the now for we do plan to straight in the straight in the near term, though not to. When we get to a multilingual website, but I think that would be the perfect use case for it. It would be the one alpha we are, however, straight to be using the one alpha express. So now for that would be a, that would be a web application framework that permits us so now to put things into a model view controller design. And then that we use on for Angular JS, and so now straight as the straight on now straight as the front end component on now framework, and then on now the whole server is straight to be running on now for Node.js, as oh now for that would be the runtime environment, and that on now now the main. Reason why we switch was that our offshore developers are so now for they do a great job straight on the back end and and they really do they do a phenomenal job of going all straight at the database they do a they do a really good job straight on the web 
It would be they do a really good job straight down the web application coding, but do, when it comes to the front end, that that just slows them down because the fact that they're back end developers, that they're not front end developers. Er, 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 so now for me, we're also using straight, straight to be some technologies that were updated in here. And, and then straight on the front end framework that we were using now for jQuery. And we found for jQuery, straight at times because, of, because that if you think about to what we do for the web, that it's basically a lot of data-driven stuff. Whether that you're trying to find a tire straight or to find a dealer, it's all very data-driven, and we found by switching to Angular that that makes that a lot easier. Or straight to be from a front end in perspective of going out to work with some JSON data. So, so the reason why we switch is that it permits the is that it permits the front end developers here you know, not to do the majority of the work now because if they're now coding both the back end and the front end straight in JavaScript. And if they get the thrown after they all know JavaScript, so the one after that straight be no problem. And um, and well, now that permits our straight to be that permits our back end developers to work on the part that they do best and they're able to uh, or that they're able to turn around relatively quickly now then it would be the web services and 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 straight to now straight as an additional plus uh, so now, uh, and, you know that we're actually uh, hosting the site straight into a modern <coughs> environment. So, 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 so but now the big thing that I'm going to talk about here is even though they seem like straight to be technologies, but they're really a big benefit in the now to front end developer. So now the first big thing on now is is on now straight to be pug. The cool thing about this is it permits you to write HTML real easily. There's straight to be no need to worry about brackets. There, and then it also permits you to template things. And 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 no matter besides that, do not a straight do not a who doesn't love a pug? So you know it's a so so, so that it's a so do now that it's a good product. That another. Good product that we like going out for doing CSS on now is Stylus. Just because it offers quite a few advantages straight over SAS. So, 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 so that it permits us to code and load things straight, straight, now straight into a very, straight into a very similar way as Pug. And then the cool thing about and then the cool thing about AngularJS is it permits us to do more with all, we have quite a bit less JavaScript because so much of what we're doing is so data driven that we found it was just a lot easier to work with. It was a lot easier to work with Angular over jQuery. We go now straight to for straight to now for our sites. And then if we take the one out for the Express on now on the Node.js part, that that means that our entire it could be that our entire that our entire middleware and backend now is completely written straight into JavaScript, which makes things a lot easier for a front end developer to work. And in the now because if before that if you were to take a traditional straight if you were to take a traditional programming language that would that now for you would usually have a back end in developer that would be working on that. So now now that we've got a diagram that describes the way that our environment is set up and and now now to what we're doing is we're hosting things up straight in that Azure now, but we're doing it straight as we're doing it straight to 
be able to offer platform as a service. So then it means that for me, Spain as a developer right now, that they don't even give me access to the server. That is completely up to Microsoft to manage. They don't give anyone access to it. So the cool thing there is it then becomes Microsoft's responsibility to keep it patched, to keep it up. And so the big thing they're running, because they prefer to do most of their stuff straight into IIS, is they run them out for IIS node. And, and, and then they're running them out for Node.js. So then straight after that, we've got the ExpressJS and, uh, and, uh, and, uh, and then, and then that we've got the first layer that we do development on, which would be going off for straight going off for Pug, which would be the equivalent of your HTML pages. But the cool thing about Pug is that it gets compiled into HTML going on. It's all compressed and optimized. And then after that, we have Angular. But then the next component is the A Angular, or, or the now, oh, that's straight to be the straight to be the controller. The, so that's the brains, straight to be behind the whole front end operation. And then the thing that we're straight, straight actually using is the one now for UI Bootstrap. And the now for we selected for UI Bootstrap because that we already knew. Mm, the now uh, that straight to now for Bootstrap the now from the jQuery. Day, so it sort of made a very easy transition into this. And, and so then straight after that, that you've got the custom CSS and images, which would be managed straight into the stylus part. And so, and so now some straight to be some tips. The good thing for us, was that we found the fact that we already knew the oh, oh, now for bootstrap oh, oh, no, that it sort of made it easier for us to use and it sort of made it easier for us to use angular with UI bootstrap it, it would be the big the big straight to be the big kicker of going out to look for node is the fact that it's very important to pay attention to your package versions because uh, so now that it's because it may not always be best to be on the latest version straight of a note package because it could be that latest version is now conflicting to with some other node package that you're trying to use because that that package isn't ready for the latest version so it's very important in the now for you to keep track of to what versions you're on um, and now. Oh, the big secret to using Pug and Stylus is spacing is the key to everything. So, 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 so don't know that I so don't know that I don't mean to start as so, so that I don't mean to start as that I don't mean to start as Silicon Valley war, but that it's that it's important in in going out for you to decide in going out to whether that you're going to use camps or spaces. But it is extremely important though not to be consistent. So though now for so though now for straight to be though now for here would be a few of our a few of our externally facing websites. And so and so now that we've done straight out the mean stack the first one straight. In the top left would be going out for GoodyearOTR.com. Straight going out for that. Straight to be a brand new site that just launched. Straight to be going out for Tuesday last week. And then that straight at the top left would be for the GoodyearLearningCenter.com. Um, going out for that would be the first site that we. That would be the first time that we ever did straight as a mean stack. In fact, that we in fact that we recently had to go back and update it 
because we learned quite a few new tricks along the way, we, that we found some stuff that we should have done differently, so that we took the time to go so that we took the time to go back to correct that. But, but, but that was the site that we cut our teeth on. And, and, and then we'll now straight at the bottom left would be the now for good year negotiations.com. It would be there's probably not much to see there now. But the cool thing to win, 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 win now the contract negotiation, it would be the cool thing that when the contract negotiations was going on, um, that that actually interfaced into a press release tool, so that that one was kind of fun. Uh, it would be sweet to be kind of fun to do. But then this last one would be the now for. For the one now straight to be the national account site, so it would be the one now for straight to be the one now for GoodyearFleetNetwork.com. Um, uh, oh, now the cool thing about the one now for the Goodyear Fleet Network, uh, straight to be the GoodyearFleetNetwork.com that we got to experience with that is that there was a portion of the site that, that was straight to be open to the public to browse. But, but then there was a portion of the site that was only for dealers, that then that there was a portion of the site that was only for fleets, so that it was straight to be kind of fun, straight to with the means that to, straight to now to figure out a way to incorporate for two different types of logins, and so now straight as well as a, straight as well as a publicly facing portion. So though now straight in conclusion, and the now for the this is so now has been the now for our journey. The now to move to the mean stack. The fact now that it's been a lot of fun. And the now for all of us. That straight are there. Straight are there any questions for quick? How long have you been doing this? Uh, We've been. We've been straight to be. We've been straight to be doing the mean stack go now for about a year, or now, and uh, and it's straight to now that the examples of now that I've shown you, you know, though now for they, they are just strictly some of the publicly facing ones, but we've also been doing a few other things with it as well. Yes. How many people do you have on the team? Um. Well. Well, but I should say that we have for two people that they work on this street every day, and, and that then that we've got to do until now. That then that we've got for quite a few contractors that do the back end development. <laughs> And then though now that now that I'm also straight involved with it quite a bit, so there's probably three associates. Well, I think that's our that's our time for this one. But thank you so much.